From today's readings, I took the 23rd Psalm, or rather I should say it's probably selected itself. Particularly the fourth verse, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. I must say, of all the many hundreds of times I must have read or spoken the 23rd Psalm, I never believed that I would really walk through a valley of the shadow of death. Perhaps as a metaphor, but not really. It is extraordinary that we have been living in this valley for a year and we will continue to live in it for some time. It's not so much the valley itself, it's the fear that goes with it. I don't think at any point we have ever had all-pervading fear. Everything we say, every time we refer to somebody else, every time we think about somebody else, we think, I hope they don't get it. I hope I don't get it. I hope we are still here when this anniversary or that anniversary comes. That's why it has been a great help to us, our faith. Because he restoreth my soul, he leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. And that is where we should go. Particularly those unfortunate ones among us who have been kept alone, who have been kept separated, who have yon longed for comfort, long for words, long for even hand clasps, let alone embraces or kisses. So it's been a terrifying experience and it brings out the worst in humans as well, as well as the best, in the sense that we're all afraid and we all tend to be very crabby when we're afraid and we do silly things and we strike out at people. And that's why we desperately need the comfort of God and God's help. And again, if we do, so do, if we follow, then surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And now, for our prayers today, we are to pray for the desire to follow Jesus. And again, it's an old prayer I have, which I hope you find, I hope you find, uh, enjoy it as much as me. Lead us, O God, from the sight of the lovely things of the world to the thought of thee, their creator, and grant that delighting in the beautiful things of thy creation, we may delight in thee, the first author of beauty and the sovereign Lord of all thy works. Blessed for evermore. Amen. We beseech thee to hear us, Lord.